All right, this is Jeff at Quadrocopter, and today we're talking about how to unbrick your Movi if you were doing a firmware update and accidentally something got powered off, if your Android died, if your laptop went into sleep mode. Yeah, what happens is it inter interrupts the Bluetooth signal, and yeah, what you need is a five pin cable to actually um, recover it. So this is just a cable we got in the, it's actually the FreeFly repair kit. All we're doing is we're just jumping pins one and five, so you can see how this wire actually is looping around to pin number five. So we're just gonna install that into the Movi. There's actually a five pin port front and center. So we're going to seat that in there so it's nice and tight. Oops. Okay, so that's now installed. I'm just gonna put this all back on the stand. When I first turn this on with the jumper installed, you're gonna see three solid LEDs and then they're gonna go dark and that's the last LED signal you're gonna see during this process. So turn it on, three solid lights and off. Now we're gonna turn on our free flight configurator and typically what happens with this window is once it connects, you'll see battery voltage, you'll see satellites, all this other information. When we're in this bootloader mode, you won't see any of that information. However, if we still go to system, update firmware, it'll say device is connected but not responding. Do, you, um, do not continue. If the device bootstrap jumper is not in place, do you wish to continue? Yes, we do. I'm gonna choose the firmware I want to update. Ready to flash, do you wish to continue? Yes. So the first thing, firmware update, you'll see a number behind it, this percentage. What happens is we're just pretty much counting from zero to 100%. As we upload, you're also gonna see a solid line go from left to right. As this continues, this is gonna take four to five minutes. Once again, you wanna make sure that your device has enough power, your Movi has enough battery juice, and if you're using a laptop, make sure to disable any sort of sleep mode. So if it accidentally goes to sleep after two minutes, it'll interrupt the Bluetooth. Um, it'll once again brick it. So once again, um, this is gonna take roughly four to five minutes. We'll just let it run its course here. Okay, so this is pretty much getting close to the end of the update. I actually just fast forwarded through all this stuff. Um, it takes a while, but once again, it's gonna be about four to five minutes. Our firmware update is now climbing towards 100%. So right now, 99, 100%. So the update is complete. What we're gonna see, firmware update is complete. Hit okay. What I'm gonna do is turn the Movi off. I am going to uninstall the jumper. If we turn it back on, it would just go back into um, bootloader mode. So once again, turn on the Movi. We just updated. Um, this should respond as you would normally see. So basically it's calibrating. Well, we get those three flashing lights. That just means it was moving as I was trying to start it up. So make sure it's still. Once again, everything's calibrating, everything's looking for still, and we get three solid lights. We now are, um, well, three solid lights, that means we have full power. But once again, you'll see this is all limp, so it's not actually stabilizing on any axis. After this firmware update, what happens is all the tune settings for pan, roll, and tilt have been reset to zero. So it's not gonna respond as majestic mode like you normally saw. So, once again, we have to go to configuration, and let's just do a quick tune. For this one, this is the 5D Mark III. I know the pan comes in at about 90. I want to say the roll, I think that's about 50. And the tilt, I think I run at about 13 or 14. So we've just um, basically put in numbers for pan, roll, and tilt stiffness. Tilt stiffness. Um, we're in majestic mode, so now we see it respond as it should. Also with this update, um, depending on your transmitter, you're probably going to have to go into the controller config and say what kind of radio type it is. This defaults to DSM2, um, the Spectrum. I'm running for Tava, so I'm going to have to go through that and change. Um, luckily, though, I have that all saved in a, let's see, you can actually go in here and load settings. 
and these are all the settings I have for all the different movies. Um, I actually have this already go, so I can just choose that 5D Mark III. Um, it'll load it, and yeah, we're good to go. Whoop, actually, it looks like my tilt's a little high. Oh, this is for the 24 to 105. So obviously that lens is a bit beefier than the 20 I have on it. So yeah, we're gonna bring the tilt down. So yeah, so anyway, um, once again, when you're doing the bootloader, make sure, well, any sort of update, make sure that your Android has plenty of power, enough power in the Movi. If you got the laptop, make sure that is powered up, has plenty of power, and also any sleep mode is disabled. Um, so once again, this is Jeff at Quadricopter, and we'll talk soon. Oh.